journey of mine has been filled with beautiful lakes is this is very risky the four of them but there are some friends who stick through those are the friends are the most are the most precious So we are now on our way to this place called Kushal Nagar via Chikmangalur and from Kushal Nagar we will make our trips to places like Baila Kupe and uh, Madikere. So let's see how this goes. to Chikmangalur is is very simple it's just a 20 minute journey from here or a 20 minute drive from here and once i reach Chikmangalur i will make my way to uh, Kushalnagar which is which is a place around the Kurg area and from Kushalnagar uh, where, where i'll be staying for around 3 to 4 days i will travel around places like Kurg uh, which is madikere and uh, i also visit baila kupe you know especially the monastery that's there you know it has around 10000 tibetan inhabitants which i think is uh, is something that is of interest to me as well so let's see how this goes and i'm really excited about this 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 part of the trip the place where i stayed is this place called uh, outback You know, it is uh, owned by this gentleman who again owns a coffee plantation a fairly new uh, it's a one year old old sort of a setup very very basic rooms uh, you know you have no wifi uh, but obviously you have good connectivity here So we have hit uh, Chikmangalur, and we are just passing by Chikmangalur. We are not doing anything uh, substantial here. So we are on our way to Kushal Nagar from this road called the Belur Road. The distance from. Uh, Chikmangalur to Kushal Nagar is 131 kilometers. The time approximately uh, is near around three hours, and we should be able to reach the place by around uh, 2 p.m. I'm factoring an hour of uh, a rest in between, otherwise the time shows 1:15. So we should be there by 2 p.m. at the max. We are exiting Chikmangalur, and I didn't know until right now when I read the board. it said uh, thank you uh, visit again the land of coffee so apparently chikmangalur is the land of coffee something i didn't know uh, until uh, until this moment i know for a fact that chikmangalur is is known for coffee but you know this this phrase or this this term people use you know it's used the land of coffee is is new to me this is uh this is a very very beautiful uh scenery that i am 
passing by, passing through. There's a small lake or a pond. You know that is at the left side of me. Let me just slow down my car and just, just soak this sight. It is beautiful. There's a lake on your left hand side and, and there are these beautiful Paddy fields and meadows on your right and straight above, straight ahead. This is such a beautiful place. when you see you know you realize how beautiful the world is and more importantly what you've been missing out on sometimes I feel that we miss out on things in two ways or we miss out on such beautiful sight in two ways one we are far away from it so you know, maybe we're in the cities you know everyday humdrum you know of life and the other is we are probably not aware of such beautiful things around us. You know, it takes a lot of, uh, I think, awareness to just look at how beauty unfolds. wherein I have decided not to play any songs because it just might take me away from enjoying the scenery that I see right in front of me right now. And yeah, the sky looks so beautiful. You know, it has these clouds, the white clouds against the striking deep blue uh, uh, background of the sky you know, the greens on the road and the tarmac you know it just provides a beautiful contrasting yet very harmonious uh, sort of feeling it's a beautiful drive a sight and this is probably the first time I'm seeing a two-wheeler with probably three people on it and the and the child is actually standing up while uh, you know the scooter is being driven or ridden well I'm not sure what they are thinking but this is this is very risky there are four of them in this in the scooty so we have just entered Hassan 
A G S S A N. Now we have okay. We are still in the Hassan Peria Patna Road. The Hassan Peria Patna Road. Yeah, I'm just practicing that uh, with myself. I think I have done a pretty good job. Let me see if I remember the Hassan Peria Patna Road. There you go. That's a bit of a tongue twister, but uh, if you practice, you will get it right. There's this amazing uh, hill right in front of me, and there are these beautiful paddy fields in front of it. It looks so fabulous. This. Uh, this journey of mine has been filled with beautiful lakes so if i had to name this journey it has to be a journey of lakes just based on one reason and that was to meet an old time friend now as we age or as we mature or go onwards in life we realize that you know a lot of our dear friends friends who are very close to us you know they drift further away and and some friends don't drift away i mean they they still keep in touch i mean it doesn't require a lot of effort we put in some effort to be in touch with you you know and you know meet you whenever you are around or you go and meet them you know, these are these are the friends who stick you know these are the friends who really matter um, i had a very close friend of mine too you know i mean he is somehow faded away he doesn't really keep in touch and he calls only once in a year and whenever we we are around or close by he doesn't take a lot of effort to to meet us and which is okay i think we were very close once upon a time but i think it was time for us to sort of say goodbye and and be be acquaintances be good friends maybe whenever we meet again we will speak but but this is one relationship that has to probably let go because i realized that every time it was me who was putting a lot of effort into into meeting him into making a plan now i think it's time to to close the chapter so i know it's difficult but that's how life is you know there are a lot of friends that you will meet will be very very close to you right but as you you go onwards in life like i said before you know they will they will fade away or you will fade away and which is okay because i think you've played a big role in in someone else's life and this person has played a huge role in your life but it was only for so much but there are some friends who stick through you know this entire time and those are the friends that i think are are the most are the most precious 